Hello again. I really need to get on the ball and get these videos done. Um, <clears throat> anyway, this is the recap video for 100 Days Making Comics Season 2. My name is Robert Johnston, and this covers days 55 through 57. Original artwork date of February 24th through the 26th, 2019. So, working in Clip Studio, um, actually... I'm still not fully, you know, aware of what this program can do. Um, I am looking into it. I recently bought Affinity Photo and started playing around with that too. Um, everything's all a work in progress, but I definitely am going to try to fully move away from Adobe at this point. Your subscription model for artists is really a killer and I just don't see how people can afford to uh, maintain that as, as an artist <clears throat> because you know we're all starving artists and do we have 50 bucks a month or whatever it is 30 bucks to pay <clears throat> to pay towards that I don't know maybe we do maybe some of us do but maybe a lot of us don't So, I'm look. I'm spending a lot of time looking at alternatives. Um, I, I think I'm going to end up rounding out the Affinity package pretty soon. I'm going to get the uh, designer. Uh, I know Karen Lewis Monfiglio was talking about that she purchased the designer, and uh, I want to check it out. Um, it's a vector program, and if it's going to do the same thing, then why not? You know. Um, but I don't know if the updates are auto like Clip Studio. Like you pay for one and you always get the updates. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I'm i hopeful. Um, I'm also going to get Publisher from Affinity. And we're going to see how that works out too in, in, in regards to replacing InDesign. Um, for that matter, does anyone use Quark anymore? And are they on a subscription model? I, I couldn't tell you. I, it, the last time I used Quark was right before PageMaker died. You know, quite a long time ago. But anyway, <clears throat> Affinity Photo is promising. It's just, in my opinion, not there yet. So back to the artwork here. Looks like I'm on day 56. And I know that I didn't keep this artwork. I know I changed it because um, <clears throat> I didn't want it to look too flat and it looks too flat here so what I did was I tilted it backwards a bit and tried to prop his head up because you know this is the point where he was kicked by the hind legs of the unicorn and because you know the unicorn ain't playing they're just like you know what I ain't got time for you werewolf I am gonna get you out of my way real quick and you know I've had enough <clears throat> well once I realized I looked at this art and I was like man this looks too flat you know the original looks too flat I made it a point to go at it again and even though it's tiring and it's mentally exhausting to think of how you can fix something I don't I don't worry about that you know, I, I just say to myself, don't worry how you're going to do it. Just just know you got to do it. You know, you got to fix that. You can't allow it to stay in a non-working condition, you know. So here I am doing some uh, different ways, different techniques. Uh, I do what's the silhouette technique sometimes. Um, that usually helps me. Uh, visualize visualize what I what I'm going for. I really like the silhouette technique. Um, it's it's so simple to do. You just start blotching in some blacks, and you know you end up with something that's kind of cool. You know, and you try to push it. You try to get a more dynamic layout. Like this one here, I think this is what what I settled on. You know, I just started, yeah, this is my, my, uh, 
my final sort of layout on this because I really wanted to uh, show the look on his face where he was like man that was a strong kick you know that was a strong kick and I'm surprised I'm still alive sort of thing <laughs> because this unicorn ain't playing okay this unicorn does not play anyway I like getting to the stage where I'm repining uh, when I know I'm getting close to the end of the uh, of the final look uh, it, it's exciting because you know you feel like you're pulling it together finally and look at that little Superman curl on top of his head anyway you're pulling it together finally and you're just having a good old time doing it you know and of course that was a bitch move unicorn okay that was a bitch move Sorry, I didn't mean to, uh, you know, swear a little bit there. And I don't mean nothing negative by it. But, uh, and I mean to say that that type of move was a sneaky move. Okay. I could have said sneaky. That was a sneaky move, Unicorn. But, you know, wouldn't have been as funny. Anyway, I like these lines. They look pretty cool. And uh, as you can see, I'm working on my, my finger drawings. Trying to get those things together. I, I'm doing a lot of cylinder work these days. Um, cylinder and shapes work before I get to the to the nitty gritty. And you know when you when you do that, it be, it starts to become when you do the cylinders and shapes and stuff. It really starts to be your go-to first. You know, you just start lopping in boxes and shapes and things, and it really helps you start to see things in 3D and. I appreciate that. So, anyway, I hope I correctly listed out that this was days 55 through 57. Artwork taking place February 24th through the 26th, 2019. And I'm almost done here with this video. Um, sometimes you don't need to put hardly any background details you just need to make sure that the main focus is the real deal in terms of details. Okay, well, I hope you guys ha are doing great with whatever it is you're working on. And uh, this is me, Robert Johnson, signing out. 100 Days of Making Comics, Season 2. And uh, I'll see you on the next recap video, folks, which will be coming soon, I think as I want to get these done because I'm tired of letting them go. Okay, bye. I want to thank you for watching my video. Please visit me on social media and go to Linktree to see all my social media links. And if you like this video, please like and share it. The 100 Days of Making Comics was created by Kevin Cross. The challenge is about you spending at least 30 minutes a day on your comic project. And for those 100 days, you have to document your progress on social media. To learn and see more, please follow these links and hashtags.